Good morning, friends. Glad to be with you in prayer this morning. Today we're going to offer a prayer about calm as we continue through this week of Advent, lifting up the message of peace. Let's pray. Gracious God, we wish that all was calm and peaceful in the world today. We look around and see that it isn't. We pray for an end to the pandemic and systemic racism and the effect they have on causing a lack of peace in our lives. We turn to you seeking peace and calm. We know there is a promise of both in scripture. We know that calm can be the first step to lasting peace. We pray that we will be guided to still waters in our lives. Today, as we gather in prayer, friends, I invite you to think about where there is a need for calm in your life and how you can achieve it as you prepare for what is to come in the season of Advent. Seek the sound of the babbling brook or the flowing stream wherever you find it as the source of calm in your life. As we continue in prayer, Lord, we live in hope for the day when the lion will lie down with the lamb. We wish for that day of peace. We wish for that peace both for ourselves and for others. We know that you will speak peace to us all in faith. Help us find peace and calm in the midst of the present chaos in the world. Amen. Today, friends, our reading is from the 85th Psalm, starting at the first verse. Lord, you were favorable to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people, and you pardoned all their sin. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people, to his faithful, to those who turn to him in their hearts. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, and his glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground, and righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord will give what is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him, and will make a path for his steps. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed, safe, and peaceful day. Amen.